Expo 2020 Dubai has awarded 72 key new contracts through its dedicated online e-sourcing portal to local, regional and international companies as work shifts from planning to implementation towards hosting the global mega event here in the UAE. Among the winners receiving the new tenders were UA-based online recruiters Bait.com, global expertise design company The Thinkwell Group, and open innovation experts Nine Sigma. It was revealed that Bait.com won a tender for the provision and implementation of an online recruitment solution, while The Thinkwell Group will be working with the expo to create a compelling visitor experience. The Vice President for Engagement at Expo 2020 Dubai, Manal Al Bayat, was quoted as saying that a number of homegrown small and medium sized enterprises have also attracted business for the Expo, including Delma Interiors to fit out offices at the Expo site in Dubai South, and Mirage Media and Mixari Ladies Tailoring both of which worked on UAE Day celebrations at the Expo 2015 in Milan. Officials highlighted that the idea is to bring together thought-leading companies from the UAE and around the globe to provide the best possible experience to over 25 million visitors across six months. And 70% of visitors are expected to travel from abroad to attend the event. Al Mansouri, specialized engineering, the oil field services leader in the Middle East, has announced the deployment of the first of two planned production testing and simulation vessels in the Arabian Gulf. According to Al Mansouri Management, the vessel brings with it the capability to offer production testing and well simulation of the highest level. All onboard testing equipment has been designed to conduct production testing on oil and gas wells with high H2S and CO2 levels. Additionally, the vessel has been fitted with the latest safety equipment available in the industry in order to ensure safe and trouble-free operations. During a press conference held earlier today over in Abu Dhabi, company officials stated that the vessel and the high-tech equipment on, on it cost 200 million dirhams, and the oil production testing capability of the vessel can accommodate up to 15,000 barrels per day with reinjection using oil reinjection pumps. Nabil Al Alawi, the CEO of Al Mansouri. Specialized engineering stated that the new vessel, with its range of unique capabilities, will substantially reinforce their capacity to offer production testing and well simulation services of the highest quality and an enhanced level of operational efficiency to their clients. This is a state of the art vessel, purposely built DP2 vessel that will service pumping and stimulation and testing of offshore oil and gas. It's purposely built, designed for our clients at go. The uh, aging of uh, the oil wells in the industry is asking for very specialized stimulation vessels offshore and trucks onshore that would stimulate the wells so that they could continue to produce as the wells are aging. And this is the kind of equipment and vessels that are highly needed these days in this part of the world. It fits in with our vision to provide excellent sustainable service to our customers here by introducing this vessel. Uh, we're just bringing the level of our service up. Uh, this vessel is designed to meet their needs so that they can uh, increase their production, which they're in, in great need of today. Uh, there's a lot of uh, service work that needs to be done on the wells to to increase the production capacity of Abu Dhabi in general. Uh, so the introduction of this vessel fits in perfectly well with, with the, our customers' plans. Etihad Airways will add three new weekly services between Abu Dhabi and Manila from the 1st of May next year, as according to the president of the national carrier. The new services will mean that Etihad will have a total of 17 return flights per week for the Philippine capital from May next year. The president and CEO of Etihad Airways, James Hogan, was quoted as saying that the new services will increase capacity between the two cities by almost 2,500 seats per week. 
Airline officials revealed that the enhanced flight schedule also provides seamless connectivity over the Abu Dhabi hub with 1,085 weekly connections to 58 destinations around the globe, including connections to Bahrain, Daman, Doha, Jeddah, Kuwait and Riyadh. It was also highlighted that the extra capacity will enable Etihad and its partner airlines in Europe to grow the business and leisure travel market from the UAE and countries such as the UK, France and Italy. All 17 weekly flights will be operated by a two-class Boeing 777-300ER. All GCC countries will complete the implementation of a new automated system for the electronic transfer of customs duties by the first quarter of next year. That's according to the Federal Customs Authority. The Director General of the FCA, Mohamed Bouseba, was quoted as saying, that the new system will boost regional trade among the GCC countries while also raising the competitiveness of the UAE economy. Officials highlighted that the system will boost the use of smart technologies across all UAE government departments, will also help in reducing paperwork and protocols and eliminate any obstacles in the export and import of products across the GCC. It was mentioned that with the exception of Oman, all GCC countries have already started implementing the new automated system. The official implementation of the second phase started back in late October with over 11,000 transactions valued at 91 million dirhams. The value of direct non-oil trade between the UAE and other GCC countries reached 750.4 billion dirhams between 2003 and mid-2015, with imports into the UAE accounting for 286 billion dirhams. Meanwhile, the value of non-oil exports in the same period from the UAE to GCC countries reached 185.6 billion dirhams, with re-exports amounting to 279 billion.